All right, guys, let's talk about electric blue jack Dempsey's because as I go through some messages here um, and some people sending me videos about their adult electric blue jack Dempsey's and them basically telling me, hey, look here, I have a beautiful male electric blue jack Dempsey and it is super healthy and you don't know what you're talking about your videos. You got a lot of controversy around it, but um, I guess... I'm still going to stick to my guns in this one, guys. Just because you have an electric blue Jack Dempsey and you want to message me, sending me videos about how awesome yours is. And I will state that, first of all, a lot of these electric blue Jack Dempsey's people are sending me aren't true electric blues. Like, electric blues are, like, super vibrant and crazy vivid. But a couple... <coughs> oh, sorry. I have potato chips stuck in my throat. Um, anyhow... Not all of, not, what, I lost my train of thought. Okay. Not, most of the, most of the videos people have been sending me aren't true electric blues. So, but a couple of them have been. A, true electric blues are super vibrant and they almost look like it would be fake, like from a movie or something, because that is, that's just a true electric blue. So, uh, and I'm going to stick to my guns on saying that these are bad fish to keep and they usually die because I've reached out to a lot of people, uh, a lot of the larger breeders, and when you talk to them about how to breed them and how much, how many actually die versus like what, you know, like their, their grand total yield of what, it, it will blow your mind, these breeders, uh, what they tell you because they there's a huge increase in demand for these fish but uh at how many of these fish die when breeding them is just crazy and they will tell you full on that these fish shouldn't be bred but there there's money involved so it's almost like uh these breeders they chase the money you know because these electric blues are selling like crazy right now and uh, I would say like somewhere of around maybe this is a total estimate, but maybe 5% of true electric blue Jack Dempsey's make it to adulthood. It's a full assumption. I, sh I probably shouldn't have even said that, but, um, I want to show you guys some videos. Some people sent me on the laptop here, of uh, some adults because they're stunning fish and it's worth talking about. Uh, and there is a chance and, I must say that the people that have sent me these videos have also stated that they have battled sickness throughout the entire fish's life. Like, th doesn't that show you that these fish probably aren't even supposed to exist if they have to sit there and, you know, if the fish is getting sick, they need to properly medicate, etc. And a couple of them actually told me they got extremely good at medicating fish just because they wanted to keep their electric blue alive. So I'm going to quit babbling. Let's take a look at these awesome adult Jack Dempsey. Uh, adult electric blue Jack Dempsey. All right, so the first person to contact me was Peter Gardner. He sent me this video of his beautiful male, and he actually breeds it with his regular Jack Dempsey. And if you know anything about breeding these guys, only a set amount of fry will be the true electric blue. And here is Caroline Smith's male. This is a beautiful true blue, and she has informed me that she has become an expert at treating cichlids with different sicknesses because this guy has gotten sick over and over and over, and this is probably the only way it has survived. So what does this tell you guys about true electric blue jack Dempsey's? That's the question. 